Welcome to the spookiest ever episode of Two Kids and the Mom Cooking! What are we going to be doing today and why are you guys wearing Halloween costumes? So, because it's we're, Halloween. We're doing our Halloween episode now. And it's one, our first one in our series of three. And today we're going to make our marshmallow vampire. Nice. And you're also dressed up as we can see. Yep. I'm a mermaid and I'm Darth Vader. <laughs> All right, Sophia, are you going to tell us? I'm going to be a you're going to be a vampire cheerleader this year? I also know what it's going to be. Well, before um, we get started, can you tell us what's going to be in our marshmallow vampire bat, Sophie? Yep. What? Chocolate chip, marshmallows, um, skewers, red hats, and toothpicks. Toothpicks. And a oh, touch of laser. A touch of Darth Vader's laser. Yeah. All right, we'll be back to show you how to put them together and show you what they look like. Now we are going to make our marshmallow batch, which... Look like that. Sophie, show us what we're gonna. We're, we're making them look like this, and eventually we're gonna dip them in chocolate. But the first step is to get them to look like that. Hopefully so to make that. these, you are going to take it like this, and mm -hmm. you know marshmallows mm -hmm. don't really have a long way, but they sort of do. So you're gonna, if your marshmallows just happen to be perfectly round, you can always squish it out a little, so it has a long way. Then cut it in a about just eyeball it the middle of the long way. Okay. Cut it in half. It doesn't matter if you don't fully cut it in half because you can rip it. And then take take any of the halves. Then cut that one in half again. And what we end up with is the head. And Sophie's gonna show you how to put them together, right? And one is the head and the two bat the two bat. <laughs> like this, right? Yep, you stick it right through the middle, right? And slide it on and put it in the middle. Make sure it's the middle. Let me see how you're doing that, Sophie. Okay, perfect. And then what do you do? You take one of the wings. Okay. And you hold it like this. Is it kind of is it kind of sticky? Yeah, your hands get kind of sticky. And then you slide this one on, put it like that. Okay. Mom could see it. Perfect. Slide it on. Okay, and then what do you do with the last one? You like yeah. to hold that little tip there? Yep, yeah. little tip. Oh, sticky. They stick to you, so you have to be careful. Are you putting yours on two together, Alex? Yep, Alex already finished his. Hold it in front of your black shirt so we can see it a little bit better. Ooh, see? Cute. And then you take this and stick it in right on the bottom of it. Alright, we're back from... Sophie, as you can see, has been eating some chocolate. <laughs> We're back. The kids are back from putting this stuff together. Yeah, and now we are putting, dipping our bats in the chocolate sauce. Alex, did you get a shot at the kids? Alex, during our filming, my mom. Now, when we and dip, when we dip the um, bat in the chocolate sauce, this is something a parent or an adult has to do because it's kind of hard. Um, but what you do, we take our chocolate sauce here, and as we showed you earlier, this is the melted chocolate chips, and it's heated on the stove, and you're going to want to keep it on the stove or over something warm while you're doing this. And what you do is you take the, each bat, and mom or dad, whoever's helping, you just quickly dump it in one side, then the other side, and you got you don't want to keep it in the chocolate too long, or the marshmallow will start to melt. Yep. And, and then you set it over here. And then do little red hot. And then for the eyes, Sophie's eyes. in charge of eyes. Sophie, you want to do the eye? Okay. Oops, it's okay. It's These are little red hots. Well, not not really red hots like you get in the Mike and Ikes. They're called cinnamon imperials, and they're more circle. But red hots would work too. We lay them flat, and what we're going to do now is we're going to put them in the freezer to let them cool so they harden up. And now we're going to move on to our next recipe, which is forked eyeballs. This is actually well, while we're making it. This will be the first time, so we're kind of testing the recipe. Yeah. All right. Um, Alex, can you let us know what is in the forked eyeball recipe? So first, we have plain donut holes here, which I'm tempted to eat. <laughs> oh, me too. <laughs> then we oh, have no. white chocolate chips, which you can probably guess what, what they're for. Yep. Regular chocolate chips, which you can't guess what's for. <laughs> and red frosting, which you might be able to guess. 
Yes. And Sophie, when we're done with them, what are they? What are they going to end up going? In one of these cups, and they're going to have all little like. I now we're going to be dipping our donut holes into the white chocolate that we've melted. Mm -hmm. And what you do is you spear the donut hole onto a fork. Yeah. Now, parents, this chocolate is also hot, but I've it's it's heated up and it's off the burner now, and the forks hold the donut holes a little bit easier. So I do let Al I'm let letting it Alex drip in. off the excess. Yep. Alex, how is it? Now, like we said, this is the first time you made it, and Alex says, what does the color look kind of like? Dog. Yeah, and it's not as white as it looked in the picture in the book, but it's still kind of fun, and I'm sure they'll taste delicious. Yep. I can't wait until everything's done because that's when our party's going to be here. Can you show everybody how to put a chocolate, ch I chocolate will. chip? Right I there will. they are. Okay, um, first you put take a, ch a chocolate chip, and make sure it's pointy on the top, yeah. and stick it. And you might have to touch this the other side. Mom. Uh oh, Alex ruined one. Well, luckily we have extra. Yeah. Or he'll just and have to eat it. And then you can hmm, flop hot. it in. It's hot, and make yeah. sure it's the flat side showing, okay? Okay, and perfect. And the dot of the eyeball, like right in my eyeball. They're called the... Sophie finishing up the eyeballs. She is putting the the veins on each eyeball cookie, right, So, Yep. How do you do it? Okay, what are you get using? a new one. What are you using? Red frosting. And it's really like blood, actually. Okay, let's turn off this one. So you kind of make it squiggly. You kind of go like left, right, left, right. And go back. And then it's a vein. Then yeah. you do it like kind of like a spider, like this. Cute, some done. Yes, the done ones are very cute, so. Then do another one. Okay, we're back in final showing of our, what are those called, Alex, Sophie? Eyeballs. Forked eyeballs. And Alex, what are those? Chocolate vampire eyeballs. Yes. <laughs> do, do, do. <sighs> See you next week. We love Halloween. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> and a happy, scary Halloween. For more spooky Two Kids and a Mom episodes, visit us at twokidscooking.com. And let all your happenings be scary.